from that intro alone, you might have figured out where we are. We're out at Raven's Car today. Uh, it's very much a cold autumnal morning. So uh, I'm wrapped up warm as you can tell. Uh, the joys of Raven's Car is it's a bit of a trek up and down the cliffs uh, and also uh, through a tiki hell hole, as I like to call it, the little forest uh, that's down the bottom of the steps. Uh, I'm hoping, having been quite cold the last few days, uh, that we might have had a bit of a die off of the forest of ferns uh, and a few less ticks out and about. But as you just saw there with the deer, we might have a lot of them. <laughs> uh, it is what it is, but uh, the waves have been up for the last couple of days, so I'm hoping there's been a lot washed out from the cliffs, or at least the slides underneath the cliffs. Uh, and that's why we're back. Is, uh, Raven's car is one hell of a place to find fossils. Uh, you're pretty much guaranteed hildoceruses. Uh, you might get the rare things, the grimoceros, the whole years, uh, the pulposeruses, all of that sort of goodies. Uh, so we're back trying to find some of that. Uh, one other thing is a big thank you to everyone. Uh, we hit 500 subs over uh, the last week. Uh, and so we are halfway to getting monetized so I can actually start paying off some of my fossil prep bills, hopefully with the channel, or at least fossil prep setup bills, which is the next thing coming for my new house. Uh, and I'll be showing off uh, my collection and how it's set up in the new place uh, in one of the next videos coming up fairly soon. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back with you when we're on the beach and finding something. So that's where we're headed, down to the beach over there. It is a gorgeous morning now. A little overcast. But you can see those big old waves rolling in, which is what we always want to see. Just picked up this nodder that someone had already split. That is a shame. That's one really nice stack there and another one sat on top of it. Uh, but both broken, both split. Hey-ho, let's see if we can find some better stuff. A really nice belemnite in the uh, in the Shelly bedrock. I'm not going to dig anything out of the bedrock at uh, Raven's Car. It's all triple SI protected, so you're not allowed to, even if you wanted to. Everyone knows I love a good hildy. That there should give you the indication that's a hildy. That sh distinctive shape and the whirl pattern. And yeah, it was, but it has exploded, uh, and not in a way that can be put back together, unfortunately. So. Shame but we'll see if we can find some more. And all right, little deck, a bit squished on the top edge. You can see just here. Um, but the reason I picked it up is it's got a second one on top. Oh, might prep okay, see how it goes. Always worth double checking little shale slopes. You never know, you might find some interesting looking nodules like that one there, I'll pick up in a second. But the reason I came back is, look at this. A little beach prepped hildy. In pretty good shape too. That's nice. Perfect. One other thing I picked up, this lovely deck. Bit knackered on the edge, but look at the calcite infill on that. So it's beautiful. That might cut nicely. Again, I spot the fossil. And the answer might be more than one. Because I see plenty of them down in the bedrock here, but that's not the one I'm looking at. What I'm looking at is this thing. Yeah. There we go. Fairly complete deck, a little wonky on the edge, but not too bad. Didn't have much hope for this one, because you can see broken through, so I was like, oh, let's give it a tap anyway. And uh, quite a nice little grimoceros in there. Yeah, broken through the bottom chambers, but that's not too bad. It'll stand up probably on that edge too. As you can probably see, with the rough waves and the tide still relatively far in, can't get around the headland, so I'm making the most of it. Finding some nodules, see if I'll split them open, uh, see what we get. But the only thing that I've seen that really excites me so far, you see those little nodes there? There's a spiny ammonite in this, and I can't see any other evidence of it. So I'm not sure what it is. Paranoceros, maybe a Poposterus, which would be cool. Um, but it's going to stay like that and just get taken, just get prepped as is. Went to pick up this big old nodule. 
And look at this thing I just found. This is beautiful. I thought it was a dak. And then I turned it that way and went, oh god, it's a fat boy. So that is something more exciting than a dak. Uh, so I'll have to go get that prepped. Uh, it's beautiful though. Another collection of nodules. Nothing showing in any of them except this one, which is a bit of a flat hildy, uh, which I'm not sure if I'm going to take, but I might, because uh, it's not a bad size. Just been grabbing a few more nodules. These are the ones that have the Grammos in them, the shelly things. And of course, there's a little Grammo just there on the edge sticking out. Uh, I'll probably break this one down and see what else is in it. Uh, but the thing that just caught me was this. You can just see the edge of it running around. It's a little worn up there, a little hole there. I don't know whether that is a hildy or maybe a hoggy. It's got mouth border there. I'm hopeful that it goes all the way around and in. Uh, so we'll have to just take that one back and get that looked at. One more thing for the pile. I kind of happy but disappointed at the same time for this one. This is a big old block as you can tell uh, from my hand. There's a nice big Grammo keel sticking out there, another one that broke when this edge came off. And there's lots more little bits sticking out through here. Uh, every time I've tried to reduce it I've run into more on that bit there. On the other side there's another one there. Um, and I know there's another bit down the bottom there and one on the back there. So there's a lot of them in this block. How far through it they extend I don't know. Uh, it's also just enormous, um, but I think that one might have to just come back as is. Uh, as much fun as it is trying to get out this one, or at least a section of this, I think it's just going to be a lot more in it, it's worth taking home. Fairly easy spot the fossil. A very water-worn chunk of hillary. A far more challenging spot to fossil. Big old deck. Fairly complete. Nice. I've got so much from the first bay I considered not going around to the second, but uh, it's an ammonite there and a couple more just over there. Just got washed by the sea. Uh, so I'm glad I haven't stopped. That one looks all right. A couple more decks. So you can see a little bit, I've just tapped off of one, picked up another, a little hildy. And just hopefully see that keel. Uh, there's a lot just being washed around. Uh, there's another chunk of ammonite just there. Loads and loads in this stuff that's just been washing around. That tide and that surf has been doing its work. Got very excited by this. Sadly incomplete. But a big old chunk of, uh, I don't know, something. I'm not sure what it is due to its size. Big grandma? Maybe a hogia? I don't know. Something resembling an alright hildy. I mean, the edge was eroded, which is how I spotted the ammonite. Um, but what's interesting and why I'm holding this bit still onto it, do you see this here? In my thumb? That's a little belemite fragma cone. That's a nice little association, that. So I'm going to try and keep these two together. Uh, the top of it's on the rock. Uh, but I think it will go to back together alright. I'll take that. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. That one was uh, the perfect shape nodule hit it and it split that way before that way. So we'll leave that little grandma alone. That's a shame. That's a bit of a shame too. And you can see the imprints of the whorls of this big, I think it's a grandoceros. This is really big too. Yeah. But alas, it's not there. Whilst you do find some pretty nice shells in uh, Raven's car, I have never seen an oyster here before. Uh, different. I've just picked up this thing which I know doesn't look like much uh, and is very incomplete across the bottom here. 
Um, but from the bits of the shell I can see there is no real patination on it. Uh, so I'm a little intrigued. I don't know what this is. It's fairly fat, fairly small. Uh, I'm hoping this side will have a lot more there. I was very tempted to tap this but uh, seeing that shell looks so different I'm going to keep this as is and take this back. Just pick this one up. Nice little Peronoceros by the looks of it. Beautiful. So I looked at this thinking, ah, it's nothing. But it's actually a stonker of an ammonite in here. Uh, I don't know what it is either. It looks a little bit like a grandma, a Gramoceros, but it's very big and in a different matrix. Um, and with a different keel. So, <laughs> Could be horrifically wrong. I'm a little concerned the preservation's not great. Um, but maybe it's just this side that's worn and it can be done from the other side. Uh, I don't know. This could be turning into a hell of a trip. It's been a hell of a day already. I've still got 30 or 40 minutes before the low tide, but uh, I'm in the second bay at Raven's car, so I need to get moving back uh, now. Not just because the tide is going to start coming in shortly, but because my bag's going to be filled with all sorts of goodies already and I'm really pleased. Uh, I've got at least one thing I'm pretty sure is new to my collection if not two uh, and I'm very intrigued by a couple of them uh, so we'll have to just see how they pan out. Uh, but yeah time to start wandering back. I'll come back to you if I've got anything else good to show. Uh, so yeah see you soon. We're going to have a good test of our eyes and see how good this camera zoom is. We look way out there. There they are. Some little dolphins. They aren't making it easy to spot them. Uh, just occasionally see the fins popping up. I hope you guys can see that too. A really big chunk of wood just uh, eroding out off the end here all the way along. A bit of mixed feelings on this one. It's been out uh, quite a while, but again, it was a nice sized ammonite. Um, but was exposing it. This bit's gone. Uh, that bit looks like it might be there, but I just I'm not going to spend a long time trying to dig this thing out. And uh, hopefully, it's not super rare, and I'm not going to regret saying that I'm not going to dig it up. Uh, but hey ho. One of the other things that Raven's car has that uh, I didn't mention earlier is its own species of uh, Pseudolioceros, the Bulbuyens species. And that there is a stunner of a specimen. It, it's huge. Uh, so the inside is, the shells all come off. It's on this section here. Uh, you can see the leafy marks. Uh, but the actual outer world goes all the way around. And so that's going to be a uh, good four or five inch across specimen. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that one. But I've got so much in my bag already. No! And apologies for not filming a, an outro. I always forget to do it. But instead you get a quick preview of what I'm currently getting set up in my new place with all my fossils on display. Some you might recognize like the Lytoceros there. There's the Hildoceros that you've seen before, but there's a few others that you won't have seen yet, and that might just be a quick preview into some of the things coming up in the before and after series.